Oh YouTube, this is a one-legged prepper, and I'm doing a uh, video response to my own video. Uh, I believe it's called "Good Enough Is Better Than um, Perfect," or "Can Be Better Than Perfect." And I want this to be an open discussion video. Uh, I had a comment that um, uh, YouTuber left, and it was a really good comment. And she talked about um, getting a medical kit off of Amazon and um, I believe a medical surgery kit which I haven't bought anything off of Amazon because uh, by the time I was building my monster for say kit I had run across um, bear independent and what is now refuge medical and I think I got a bear fact 1.0 and I've just kept upgrading it and adding it to the stuff. But anyway, the discussions on the topic I would like to have is, how do you save uh, money in prepping? How do you, um, what are the corners that you can safely cut that um, other people can learn from? I personally would rather spend a couple bucks more and ha know I have a tourniquet on me that will work that the windlass won't snap off in, in a heartbeat. I've seen Bear do it in a heartbeat. Because I don't want to be uh, in the future in a car accident with my uh, new wife. And uh, she died because I... Try to save a dollar or two on a tourniquet or something like that. The best uh, medical equipment I have found by far is Refuge Medical. I did a review about a year, maybe a year and a half ago now. Uh, with my medic and um, the bare fact. There, it, you were dealing with apples and oranges. And by far, uh, Refuge Medical is the best looking apple in the factory. So when it, when it comes to medical stuff and all that, I don't skip. And I try to uh, build a positive message. You know, I mean, if you go to the dollar store and you're filling up a bucket with gauze and... Uh, Gloves and and salves and ointments and all that, you know that's different. That has to meet a medical standard. But in the um, one kit that uh, I ended up getting from um, uh, my medic, there were things that I was never going to be using in there. Uh, like uh, whistle, rape whistle, um, uh, it came with like a little tent shelter. And if you're dealing with casualty, uh, you gotta get a tourniquet arm and move. It came with a rat's tourniquet. Which they changed the name to something else, which is not T Triple C certified. And it's basically one of the little tourniquets that they put on you in the hospital, just to puff up your veins so they can find them. But anyway, um, I want to open up the comments, and I ask that you be respectful to each other. Uh, if you got some great corner cutting ideas please feel free and uh just remember the people above and below you are uh your brothers and sisters but i like to have um 
an open chat and see where you and you won't um, save uh, where, where where you will uh, try to save money. And remember, um, we're all pros and we're all newbies in different aspects of preparedness. I uh, know a lot about medical. I know a lot about long-time food storage. I do not know anything about Camo. So if we could get a Camo genius in here, that would be great. But anyway, YouTube, I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is a one-legged prepper. Saying God bless, and this is one-legged prepper out.